Let's make a motion. Let's cut to the chase here. Would you, for an undisclosed amount of money, suck your favorite rapper's penis? Now, hold on. Let's Here's the go. catch. It's for an undisclosed amount of money, so it could range from maybe twelve dollars to two million or like five million. It depends how he's feeling, honestly. Um, the head doesn't matter if it's really good. It does not matter if he like. He, it just depends how he's feeling. Like it's after a studio session, all his boys are around while you're giving him the head. Of course, um, his manager tells you to come in. He directs you where the homie is. He's sweating, mind you. He just finished a crazy studio session. He's been popping his head, doing the snippet video or whatever. So he's sweating, and his penis smells really bad. It smells like sardines. Would you do it for an undisclosed amount? Personally, me, I. I uh, it's hungry, so it'd be a little too gay for my my taking butt to eat there. What is going on you know, here? Lovely, thick, voluptuous, hot, steamy, sexy, feisty, ferocious, zesty niggas. Now today on this video, I was not gonna do this video, but I woke up and I I was I was I was like, oh. Lil Uzi's on headlines. I see Lil Uzi on the little Google thing where it shows like a little Google thing and I see Uzi with the glitter. And I'm like, you know, the glitters, you know, we've seen Cardi in a thong. It's not too bad, not too shabby, but let's, okay, the glitter. He got the little glitter on his face. He's looking scrumptious, pause. It's a grown man. Like when you see Uzi, you, you don't really see him as like a grown man pushing 30. You more see him as like a forever young like type of nigga because he's like short and he's like adorable, pause. But when i clicked on the video and i saw the outfit i was like okay now we're starting to see things where like first the red he looks like a dragon ball z like during the namek saga like the the two things he looks like he's part of the ginyu force i don't know what is going on with uzi and he has like the little ballet shoes the high heels i don't know what it is and you know uzi did this on purpose because the first thing he is because when he's wearing full rick and the things like that he don't say shit. but when he did this specific outfit with the glitter looking zesty he dyed his eyebrows too he said y'all like my outfit and then they're like ah! I mean, this is lying, nigga. You look like Lil Nas X, and that wasn't even the thing. Cause now I can't defend my goat after what I've seen, and what I've seen it shocks me, breaks my heart. And you know, it doesn't break my heart in the traditional sense where it's like a anti-homosexuality. Cause I'm not homophobic. I love my gay niggas, but it broke me to a a certain point where I just don't understand what's happening. So I saw that, and I was like, okay, that is quite the outfit. That is. <laughs> Just giving Lil Nas X and it is certainly serving cunt. That nigga is serving nigga. Like, oh, relax, Uzi. <laughs> Cause I was already kind of disappointed. The hood nigga kind of left his spirit when he when he cut all the dreads off. So I was like, all right, okay, cool. And you know, I was like, is Lil Uzi gay after what I seen? Cause what I seen was this nigga, he looked a nigga in his soul, but while he was still dancing, he popped it. He popped his pussy. His pussy, I should say, his pussy popped it not once, not twice, but a plethora of times. I can't even say I don't even have the number on my head because I saw it and I was like, Uzi, what's going on? What, what happened? What is going? What is he? What is uh, JT? Why are you letting your nigga who's supposed you're supposed to be a city girl? You say that you like your hood niggas. What is your hood nigga doing? Because I remember when I listened to Bankroll and he was dropping the beat. He's with the hood niggas. He's holding a brick of money. He's all of them got the the bud and everyone's cooling on the block nigga the, the, the whole entire shit now he's popping his he, he bouncing off the floor i didn't know oops he's a talent a man who's talented at dancing but i did not know that talent reached these levels i was shocked to see how his spine how his his body was that uh what is that word what is that word that nigga has a flexible body pause <laughs> That nigga was, <laughs> nigga would have done well as a cheerleader, nigga. I don't know what was going on. I thought he was doing like all the little cool uh, old disco moves, but this nigga popped him, like his balls bounced off the ground. Like it was, it was impressive how, the, <laughs> the like I'm choking on my words because I'm so baffled at like what I just saw. And then on top of that, when he was singing the pop that ass, pop that ass, nigga, that's what I think of that song. I'm like, yeah, all niggas with the gay, they throw guns out, nigga. No, no. <laughs> This nigga start air humping the ground, but he didn't air hump it at a way where it was like, this is him. 
he's moving his knees. I can't even do it with my fingers, nigga. It looks like I'm throwing gang signs. He's fucking, he's, 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 he's humping mid air. I don't know, cause I seen this NLE chopper thing where he's like, I wanna fuck me too. That little, that little thingy where he, he dropped the snippet and the, uh, I don't know where it was, but he dropped the snippet and it was giving the same similar energy. So I was like, okay, that is fun. And then, <laughs> and then he starts bouncing his balls off the thing. I don't think Eddie Chopper was doing that. Uh, this thing, Eddie Chopper, he could he could low key get away with it because he was like wearing the like the hood nigga skinny jeans and the, he was sagging a little, so he like, kind of looked like a hood nigga when he was saying that. And it was like looked like a thirst trap for like the the treaches. So I was like, okay. But Uzi, he's wearing a crop top, looking like a Ginyu Force member, got like Deborah nigga, and he's bouncing working like looking niggas in the eyes while he's doing this i'm like jesus christ that, not only is that very gay but it takes talent i'll give credit where credit's due nigga no bullshit you know that is okay you know because <laughs> like when he was doing the bankroll shit i was like okay but nigga and then, and then all of a sudden you see him rolling his eyes with the little tongue out nigga and i can't really talk much because i have the tongue so it's like <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> but to top it off, top off this performance, nigga. <laughs> he ends it with a banger. Guys, I have something to tell you. There, guys. Watch this. I've been holding this in for a very long time, man. I'm pretty sure a lot of you already knew this about me. But. What I want to tell y'all tonight is, I love y'all. Ends it like that. He queer baits. You know what Uzi's doing? He's queer baiting, but it's at a it's at a high level. Like Lil Nas X gets away with it because he's gay. He's a he's a homosexual. He's a gay man, and he is proud to serve gay and cunt. He is, he's serving cunt. Uzi on the other hand, he's pretty thirty, brother. I <laughs> is he thirty? I don't know, but like so, like. It was hard to defend him like a couple of times where he'd be like those oh, dude the shoulder up. And I remember when that old photo uh surfaced of him wearing that like Saint Laurent uh ripped up distress thing where it looked like he got treated out by the gang and then dipped in a little bleach. That's like cool because I seen a lot of Atlanta hood niggas wear a lot worse, skittier, tighter things. So that's not too bad. But this one takes the cake. It's getting hard to defend my goat. Oh. Even fucking Miss Nigga Muffins is tweaking out. Miss Nigga Muffins, are you okay? Cause that's our goat. We used to, uh, Lil Uzi got me the XO tour life. We were uh, getting through a lot of breakups. Me and Miss Nigga Muffins right there. I didn't have Miss Nigga Muffins at the time, but me and the Miss Nigga Muffins, we were going through some shit. And as you can see, Miss Nigga Muffins is literally scrambling for answers, looking for answers right now. I am in the, I'm shocked too. So Uzi, I'm confused. What's going on? What is going on? I'm at a loss for words. Uh, Uzi was supposed to be my goat. Um, can already subscribe, niggas, for more content? Of course, you guys know why the hoodie is off now. It is because I gotta go. Because I am confused. I don't know what to say anymore. Uzi, I need answers. Because he queer baited at the end of it. He's like, I just want to let you guys know. You thought he was going to say I'm gay, nigga. And niggas would not be surprised. Which I honestly don't think Lil Uzi Vert is gay. I'm not going to lie. Because, uh... After that, he was pictured with JT in a similar outfit, with very zesty, uh, but uh, everyone says it's their favorite lesbian couple, and I agree, I kind of love their dynamic, but I don't know how JT approves of that when he wants the city girls to have hood niggas. Tell me subscribe niggas for more content, of course. Miss Nigga Muffins, would you like to say anything? Miss Nigga Muffins? Look at the confusion. Miss Nigga Muffins, do you think Uzi's gay? She does not know, nigga. Yeah. <laughs> Cover and subscribe, niggas, for more content. Of course, I'm gonna add the badass music because we need this hood nigga shit right now, nigga. Peace out.